Well, good morning, friends. Have you ever wanted to grow something just for the pure fun of growing it? That's what we're going to do today. Going to grow some giant cabbage. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back. I got these seeds online, and i tell you the truth, I can't exactly remember exactly where I got them, but if you go on and Google up uh, giant vegetables, you'll see all kinds of uh, seed companies that uh, provide seeds for, you know, enormous, gigantic type vegetables, and the one I wanted to grow was a giant cabbage. Uh, you know, you've seen those pictures of guys holding big old knocker cabbages like that. I was thinking, that'd be fun to grow sometime just for the fun of it. So. Our chickens dearly love cabbage, so I was thinking, why not? Let's have some fun this year and grow some giant cabbage and let the chickens have it, and we'll eat a bunch of it and share it with all of our friends and family and um, just have fun growing it. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I got the seed tray ready. We're going to start these in the seed starting racks behind me. This is a great fall vegetable. If you want to do something in the fall just for fun, this is something you might want to try if you have the room because they take up a lot of space in your garden. So we'll get it started in the trays and uh, get it into the, to the seed starting rack and let them get germinating. And once they get up and hardened off and ready to go to the, uh, to, to the next step, we'll take them out to the earth bed and, uh, earth garden and we'll put them straight in the ground out there and we'll watch them develop all the way up to the day we harvest them. So let me get these seeds on these trays and get started. I got all my little giant cabbage seeds in the, in the uh, seed cells ready to make cabbage. So let's get these uh, over to the um, seed starting rack and let them get some sunlight and get this show on the road. Well, there we go. Giant cabbage are ready to start growing. So we'll be back in the days ahead and we'll watch these as they progress all the way out into the day. We um, harvest them and hang some up on a string for the chickens to eat. So we'll see you soon. Well, we've had our giant, uh, giant cabbage in the and the seed's starting to rack for two weeks and it's looking pretty poor. So let's take a look at where we're at and uh, see the results. Come on up. Well, there's 48 cells in this 1020 tray and I've got one, two, three, four, five giant cabbage that actually emerged and uh, are trying to get a little bit of traction. Very poor germination rate. I'm pretty disappointed in it, but uh, I'll keep trying. So we've got these five. They've got some true leaves on them now. Maybe they'll get a little traction. The weather has cooled off a little bit. It's been very hot and dry here um, for the last month. So, you know, it's pretty hard to get seeds started in the fall here in Florida, but we're not going to give up. But anyway, these, um, these five look like they're going to make it. I've planted another tray over here and put it in the seed starting rack as a backup and hopefully they'll germinate and do a little bit better. But for now we have these five and if that's all we get, you know, that's that's what it is. So we'll we'll use these five and get them out there in the earth bed as soon as we uh, get them up big enough to harden off and we'll hope for the best and be thankful for anything we get. So we'll be back here in about a week or two and take a look at the progress. Well, our giant cabbage has been out on the grow table and I've got them hardened off and it was a pretty poor performance. <laughs> we only got uh, five of these that made it. Um, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm not gonna try to keep messing with these things. I'm gonna go ahead and put these out in the earth garden and uh, you know, hope for the best. Now these are big feeders, so I'm gonna give them a heavy dose of this uh, blood meal to help push that foliage, that heavy, high concentration of nitrogen for them see if i can't get them to uh, do what they're supposed to do so this is one of them we're doing for fun so let's go have some fun and get these things into bed and see what they do head over meet you over yonder at the uh, earth bed 
Okay, since I only have five of those plants, that'll only be about a half a row here. So I'm gonna put those uh, cabbage in right here and I'll just finish off the rest of the row with some more of my uh, little broccoli just to finish off the row. But this is where I'm gonna put them. Let me get the ground uh, cultivated. I'll cultivate it four inches deep, grade it up with my grading rake. Then I'll move my uh, guide string over here on top of it and I'll space them out a minimum of 30 inches. I may go about 36 inches on these things because allegedly they're supposed to get pretty big. So I'll give them maybe 36 inches to, um, you know, cascade out and do what they do. So let's get her going. Okay, we got our five little giant cabbage planted out in the earth bed and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what these things do. So we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the progression of these and see how big they really get. We'll see you soon. Well, our, uh, our giant cabbage have been in the ground for about a month and they're starting to make a little progress. Um, you know, remember we only have five of these, but as you can see, they're growing pretty good and, and um, they seem to be growing a little bit different than the cabbage I'm used to looking at. They're, they're growing up and being lots of foliage, you know, but anyway, very, very vertical. So anyway, they, maybe that's a sign of the difference in them than what I'm used to seeing. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see uh, how these turn out and if they're as big as allegedly supposed to be. So we'll uh, be coming back in the days ahead and we'll be watching the uh, progress of these all the way up until we see how big they really actually get. So we'll see you in about, I guess we'd come back in about a month and check it again. That okay with you? Okay, we'll be back in about a month. Well, my giant cabbage have gone from bad to worse. I've had a terrible time with this. I would consider this to be an epic fail. But uh, as you can see, uh, the cabbage bolted. It's just a little too warm for them down here in Florida this time of the year. I think I would have been better to plant these in the spring and um, get these off before as the temperatures are really cold when I plant them. They, they seem to be real sensitive to bolting and I didn't have very good luck with it. But anyway, uh, even with an epic fail, I learned something from it. And um, that's how it is in gardening. That's what th turns our thumbs green is our failures, not our successes. So every time we fail at something, we didn't really fail if we learned something and we can apply it on the next time we try. Just don't give up. You only fail if you don't try. So we'll try these again another day. Um, I'll um, plant these in the early spring next time and see if I can't get a little bit better result. And even when I have a failure like this, I'm gonna let these things just continue to grow and bolt and do whatever they want and just get all the foliage on there they want. And guess who will thank me for them? My chickens. So even when I fail, I have a crop failure, the chickens will always applaud when I come walking out with something like this. So we'll be heading to the chicken yard in the days ahead as soon as I get this up big enough. And I'm gonna get as much out of it as I can because they'll devour this in minutes. So we'll be back in the days ahead and give the chickens a treat. See you then. Well, it's December here in Florida and the uh, chicken yard is completely absent of green vegetation out there for the chickens to, uh, to pick at and eat. So uh, this time of the year, I usually have to take things out of the garden. And this was an epic fail on the giant cabbage, but it's a, um, it's a glorious day for the chickens because they'll get some um, really fresh, green, healthy uh, vegetation to eat. So I'm gonna pull this stuff up. It didn't do well for me. I think um, I'll try to learn from this and try it again another day. But for now, I think I can get the um, I can get it up and uh, get it out into the chicken yard, and they'll have a little uh, healthy treat today. So let's see what we get here. Lots of leaves, lots of flowers. They'll like all that. Okay, 
let's take this over to the chicken yard and and uh, let them enjoy it. See, it's chicken yard. There y'all go. Well, little chicken girls are enjoying that old cabbage there, ain't they? They're having them a good morning. So uh, it just goes to show, as long as you have chickens, you can never have a failure in the garden because they will appreciate anything you give them. So we'll, uh, we're gonna uh, hope that you enjoyed watching this video with us and that uh, it, it brought a smile to your day. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.